In less than a week, voters across mid-Michigan will head to the polls for the August primary. One of the big races will decide who will square off against Senator Debbie Stabenow in November. And tonight, one of the Republican candidates is making a stop in Frankenmuth. That's where we find WNEM TV 5's Bill Walsh with more. Hi, Bill. Hi, Clark Durant, right here in Frankenmuth, right here with me right now, the, uh, the self-titled rebel with the cause. Now, uh, some news from today. You got the endorsement from the largest Tea Party pack in the nation. How does that make you feel? Well, What's it do for your campaign? I'm very excited. The Tea Party Express is fresh from the victory in Texas with Ted Cruz. Uh, they're coming to Michigan because they believe that this is an upset in the making. And I'm very delighted because people are fed up with these career politicians. And they see my opponent, Pete Hoekstra, as just one more career politician voting for debt and spending like everybody else. Yeah, kind of a centerpiece of your campaign, your primary campaign thus far, hammering Pete Hoekstra on his, uh, as a D.C. insider. You did that in the debate today. You think it's gaining some traction? It's clearly gaining traction. People think that Pete's a conservative. Pete is even to the left of Debbie Stabenow. Pete voted for the Wall Street bailout. Debbie didn't vote for that, sending our t Michigan tax dollars all around the world. Pete voted for the largest unfunded entitlement that the Comptroller General said was the most irresponsible piece of legislation in 30 30 years. I think Pete is on the run after the debate today. He didn't want to hang around for questions. Uh, I think an insurgency is gaining momentum, and I'm delighted to be up here in Frankenmuth today. All right, next four days, I imagine, going to be a, a whirlwind for you. You're going to get any sleep. You're going to eat a lot of fast food. What's it? Gonna, what's it going to be like for you? It's going to be. It's going to be door to door. It's going to be phone calls. It's going to be going to every little small town and village uh, across Michigan. We're going to let the voters know they really have a choice. And the and there was a poll this morning that said Clark Durant is the best candidate against Debbie Stabenow. It's why the Democrats have started to attack us so viciously because they want to try to eliminate us in the primary and not face me in the general. So Clark Durant has a great chance, and we're going to work hard for 24, 48, a lot of hours. All right. The uh, rebel with the cause. I wish you luck on Tuesday, sir. Thank you very much, Bill. It's good to be up here. All right. We are live in Frankenmuth. I'm Bill Walsh, WNEM TV5. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Now, the latest polls show Clark Durant trailing challenger Steve. Pete Hoekstra. The Detroit Free Press has Hoekstra with 51% of the vote and Durant with 27%. But both candidates trailed in their head-to-head -head matchup with Senator Stabenow. 